inside the final furlong and a half. And it's Pearls and Rubies and Snellen now go on from Carolina Reaper, who's battling away. Namonte's trying to stay on. Snellen in the blue. Down the centre is Pearls and Rubies. Odyssey flying for the back. Golden Mine is keeping on as well. Pearls and Rubies and Snellen, they're wide apart. They hit the line. Snellen! Oh, that's it now. You need luck, you need the horse, you need everything. And just whatever clicks for you in the day. And it clicked for us, thank thankfully. Age of Kings now taken on by Streets of Gold. Holloway Boy finishing the far side, then came Flight Plan. They're inside the final furlong. Age of Kings narrowly now to Streets of Gold. Holloway Boy, Zoology and Olivia Morald are all coming there. It's Age of Kings who is out in front. Age of Kings has won the jersey. He's a very straightforward horse. Uh, felt like he gets a mile well, so he just kept it simple. and. You know, it's a track that can, you can jump and you can go forward and keep going forward, and that's exactly what he done. Highfield Princess Sacred comes through on the far side with the astrologist and Ken Ross and Kurt Pierre, then Cardem, and the action towards the far side. Sacred, Cardem is chasing hard. It's the mayor, Sacred, out in front, but here's Cardem and Highfield Princess battling on, racing up towards the line, and Cardem is getting up. Cardem, and Cardem wins the Jubilee. When I pulled out originally, he did, he t t Tom's Philly did it accelerate a bit, and I thought, oh, well, I'm going to be second, but then slowly but surely got over the brow last half of Furlong and he, you know, picked up well. And yeah, look, I'm as shocked as everybody else. <laughs> over the moon, over the moon. You know, I'm um, so pleased for Fitchery and uh, Dr. Jim Hay. Uh, they've been great supporters of mine, and um, to, you know, to get a result like this for them is fantastic. It really is. His west wind blows, Deauville legend caught on the leader's heels. Our wild pile driver running a massive race from changing of the guard. Three wins, got to find more inside the final furlong. Pile driver just leading, but wavering in front from changing of the guard. And west wind blows, pile drivers all over the shop. But the King George winner comes back with a glorious win at Royal Ascot in the hardware. What a training performance by Willie to get him here. And he was so confident for the last two weeks, you know. Um, and. Uh, just a pleasure to ride a horse like that, and I've got a Royal Ascot winner on me belt now, I'm happy. Here's Mum's Tipple with a chance under Frankie Dettori. Kings Lynn on the far side is rattling home. Down the centre is St. Lawrence from Jean Le Pen and Arazio trying to get there. These are the contenders. Apollo 1, St. Lawrence, Jean Le Pen racing up towards the line. St. Lawrence is doing best. It's St. Lawrence for the Wokingham. All week, really, we've had sort of, you know, mainly sort of 16, 20 to 1 shots plus, and they've all been running very good races. And to get three winners is just dream really it doesn't happen to yards like us you know his bird at road has come through to pick it up and he goes on by a couple of eights now to have secret behind that one lose your ward line of war late on the scene to the inside local dynasties flying home to the outer it's bedette road under neil callan from line of war trying hard near the line it's bedette road to win the golden gates bedette road we've only had three runners this week and um so to, to to land one of them this was probably our best chance and no absolutely thrilled they're inside the final furlong, Dawn Rising trying to tough it out. Here comes the Grand Vizier over the top. Dawn Rising digging in under Ryan Moore. The Grand Vizier trying hard, but it's Dawn Rising to win the Queen Alexander.